my gosh. Taming pets on this realm is insane. Look at him. He's massive. And the coolest part is pets have talents now too. I can't wait to do this build. Hey everyone, my name is Shikari Dill, and today I wanted to share with you all my current main spec and the one I intend to gear up and take into endgame on the Malganis server. If you enjoy this type of Ascension discussion content, then I'd appreciate it if you hit that like and sub button. So before I jump right into the build, there's something I kind of want to talk about. I'm currently looking for anyone who might be interested in editing, or in someone who's kind of knowledgeable about Ascension stuff. Because right now I'm editing my own stuff and it takes a long time and honestly I'd just like to be able to get more content out for you guys. So yeah, if you're interested in editing some of my videos, feel free to hit me up on Discord, I'd love to pay you for your work. You can find me on the Ascension Discord so feel free to just look me up and uh, shoot me a message. So as you could probably tell, pets are back on Ascension. We finally have the long anticipated pet talents that I've been personally wanting for so long. And with the addition of being able to pick Kill Command as an ability, running with Hunter Pets is now an actual viable option and has been a lot of fun to play with. I've always wanted to create a build that leans heavily into the fantasy of being in the front line with your pet dealing tons of damage. So with this build that I've been messing around with and creating, I've put a lot of focus onto increasing my pet's damage. Though if you wanted to, you could create a similar build but put more power onto yourself rather than your actual pet, if that's more your style. So for this video, I just want to talk about the different iterations I went through with my build and kind of just share some footage of the gearing process, which I'll admit is going really slow thanks to Elden Ring. So the legendary RE I'm using is called Unrelenting Wrath. Now this is an enchant I've had my eye on for a while now, especially when I was playing on the Alar server. But now that I'm on Malganus, I just can't express how awesome it is to finally be able to pick the abilities I want. But anyway, your hunter ability critical strikes have a chance to cause your pet to enrage, increasing its damage by 30% for 5 seconds. Also increases the duration of your bestial wrath and the beast within by 2 seconds. Now you would look at the Sin Chan and think, okay, well you just go like a ranged hunter build, right? I mean, any hunter ability works. But, of course being the way that I am, decided, huh, I kinda wanna go melee. But as you might know, there aren't that many melee hunter abilities, and to be honest, the ones that are available aren't that great. So right off the bat, I just picked up Mongoose Bite and Raptor Strike, but I also picked up Mortal Strike, along with some talents to increase its effectiveness. I did this because although you would think Mortal Strike is a strength scaling warrior ability, it really just scales with your weapon, so it seemed like the perfect fit for a melee hunter. And I should mention that I'm gearing this with Agi as my main stat, so like a traditional hunter would build. And this is really my first iteration of being a Beastmaster melee hunter, but after a while I felt as though there was too much downtime and I was only triggering my Unrelenting Wrath every once in a while when I had my Raptor Strike and Mongoose Bite off cooldown. So I started looking for a way to see if I could more reliably trigger my Unrelenting Wrath while smoothing out my rotation. And that's when I found it. The epic enchant, Savagery. With this enchant, your wing clip now deals 40% more damage and reduces the cooldown of Mongoose Bite by half a second, but it no longer slows the enemy. This allowed me to turn wing clip into a main spammable filler ability to more reliably trigger Unrelenting Wrath while also reducing the cooldown of Mongoose Bite, which was a pretty big ability in itself. Now when you pair this epic enchant with another one called Fetch Me Their Bones, which reduces the cooldown of Kill Command by 2 seconds every time you use Wing Clip, Mongoose Bite, and Raptor Strike, now I was starting to get a legit smoothed out rotation and it was all coming together. And then for the third epic enchant, I took On The Hunt, which basically is just a 15% damage buff to your pet when you use Med Pet, and you just keep that up at all times. Now you're starting to stack some serious pet damage buffs. And since I'm running with the Devil Sore pet, which by the way, used to be an absolute unit, and now they've just nerfed his size by way too much, and he's just tiny now. But I digress. The Devil Sore has access to some pretty powerful pet talent abilities like Call of the Wild and Rabid. You stack those abilities with Unrelenting Wrath, Bestial Wrath, On the Hunt, and with Kill Command active, we're talking absolutely massive pet damage here. So with a smoothed out rotation, massive pet damage buffs, everything was going well. But I was thinking to myself, how can I make my pet even stronger? 
and I got to thinking about how it scales with my stats and more specifically my attack power. Well, Rockbiter is a great weapon enchant that I use for this build as it straight up increases your attack power by 200 when applied to a two-handed weapon. And as it turns out, the 15% damage nerf you get for taking Titan's Grip does not affect your pet. So I ended up grabbing Titan's Grip, throwing Rockbiter on both the two-handed weapons for a total of 400 attack power which goes straight into my pet. Not to mention the extra attack power from the Rockbiter weapon just straight up outscales the nerf you're given as my Raptor Strike and Mongoose Bite just does more damage in general. Now with all that being said, even with my absolutely scuffed gear and terrible item level, I can reliably hit around 1500 single target DPS, which I think I can expect to reach well over 2k once I get better gear, and especially some trinkets. Oh my gosh, why are trinkets so hard to get? So I wouldn't say this is a meta build or anything like that, but I feel as though it can definitely hold its own. For AoE damage, I found that taking Divine Storm, Whirlwind, and Explosive Trap does a pretty decent job. Explosive Trap especially does quite a nice bit of damage, but this build isn't particularly created for massive AoE. While it's more focused on single target damage with your pet, it does hold its own in AoE DPS. And lastly, I wanted to talk about the build's performance in PvP, which is sort of important to me because I like to casually PvP on the side. I'm not looking for anything to be top tier or meta, I just want it to hold its own in PvP. And though I do think this build can work, as you might expect having your pet do roughly half your damage can be a bit rough in PvP. No offense Giga Chad, your AI is just kinda dumb. This is why I mentioned earlier if you wanted to shift some of the power over to your character rather than relying wholly on your pet, then you could swap legendary RE's to something like Deadly Bite, Demolisher, or the new Firewatch. Which I plan to check out later cause it looks like fun. And good job Brain, you ended up in my video. Just not the actual fight though, wasn't recording it, but good fight. And that about covers my entire journey with this melee beastmaster build that eventually I'd like to bring into raids once I get fully geared out. I think my version of this unrelenting wrath build has been a ton of fun so far and I'm excited to continue playing around with it and find new ways to make it even stronger. I give the legendary RE unrelenting wrath a 3.5 out of 5 marks of ascension. I will post a link to my build down in the description below if you want to check out my entire ability and talent list. Thanks so much for watching this video, let me know what builds you'd like to see me do next down in the comments below. There are so many builds I still want to try, but this rum is only 3 months long and I still need to gear up. I'm currently addicted to Elden Ring and I have an actual job, so it leaves little room for editing and creating these videos, which is a bummer. But this is kind of why it would be awesome to have someone to help me out, help edit my videos. I really want to just continue creating these videos. This whole channel has just been a passion project for me up to this point, and I plan to create a lot more content for you all for as long as I can. But thanks so much for watching this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like and sub button if you like this form of content, and I'll see you all in the next video.